Hello, it is Foundation Friday, January 15th, 2021. Steve Cypress here at the end of Chapter 7 of the classic, fantastic book, The Psychology of Winning, by Dr. Dennis Waitley, as we give you 10 action steps to have more positive self-direction in your life. In review, Dr. Waitley states that winners in life have clearly defined, constantly referred to game plans and purposes. We know where we're going every day, every month, every year. Our objectives range all the way from daily priorities to lifetime goals. And when we're not actively pursuing our goals, we're thinking about them hard. We know the difference between goal achieving acts and those which are merely tension relieving and we concentrate on the former. Winners say, I have a plan to make it happen. I'll do what's necessary to get what I want. Losers say, I'll try to hang in there. I'll muddle through the day somehow. Yikes. Purpose is the engine that powers our lives. Everyone has purpose. For some, it's to eat. For others, it's to get through the day. And for others, it is revenge or getting even. But for winners, personal growth, contribution, creative expression, and sharing loving relationships seem to be common goals that make us such uncommon people. The reason most people never reach their goals is that they don't define them, learn about them, or ever seriously consider them as believable or achievable. In other words, they never set them, they fail by default. Winners can tell you where we are going approximately, as I flip the page one-handed, and there we go. How long it will take, why we are going, and what we plan to do along the way, and who will be sharing the adventure with us. Get a game plan for life. Ten action steps for more positive self-direction. Step one, figure out what are your lifetime goals. What do you stand for? What do you want your children to tell their children about you? Write it down. Number two. Group your priority goals in terms of years. Five-year goals. Make one in each of eight following areas. Career, physical, family, personal attitude, financial, public service, educational, and entertainment. And then do the same for goals for this next year, 2021. Next, use a large desktop calendar and set your priority goals for next month. What will you do? Where will you go? Who will you communicate with during the next 30 days in order to achieve your annual goals? Use a pocket week at a glance type calendar and set activities for next week that will help you achieve your monthly goals. Review it and check off your accomplishments every morning and evening. Then write your daily goals every evening for the next day or early in the morning and review it and cross them off the list each day and carry those forward that are worth carrying forward if you didn't accomplish them. Number seven, make a special effort to sit down and draft your financial game plan. Number eight, for each of your goals, assemble support material, news articles, pictures cut out of magazines, books, consumer reports, cost estimates, color swatches, samples. Make them real and review them often. Number nine, review your goals with winners and experts who have proven records of success in actually accomplishing what you have set out to do. Differentiate between those who want to sell you and those who are sincere in wanting to help you. One of the best ways is to pay someone strictly for advice and counsel, someone with no end product or other service to sell. And finally, number 10, for best results in goal achieving, use these basic rules. Number one, Set short-range goals, day, week, month, six months. Number two, set lower-level goals that are relatively easy to accomplish. Number three, set incremental goals that little by little will become part of a big objective that they will lead you to achieving. Number four, get group reinforcement by regularly consulting a support group interested in the same achievement. And number five, celebrate the achievement with some kind of reward, dinner, trip, certificate, recreation, new clothing, some kind of gift for yourself, etc. That takes care of chapter seven of 10 chapters in the psychology of winning for Dr. Dennis Waitley. These are the 10 qualities of a total winner. That's number seven. We'll be back 
next Foundation Friday as we get started on quality number eight. Hope you'll be with me then. Enjoy your weekend. I'll catch you back here tomorrow on Social Media Saturday. Over and out. Bye-bye.